Being yourself, understanding this essential English phrase. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a very common and meaningful phrase in English, being yourself. This phrase is not just about vocabulary but also embraces a significant cultural aspect. Understanding it can greatly enhance your English skills and cultural comprehension. So, let's get started. Being yourself essentially means acting in a manner that reflects your true personality, feelings, and beliefs, without pretending to be someone else or influenced by others' expectations. This phrase underscores the importance of individuality and authenticity in many English-speaking cultures. It's often used in contexts where someone is encouraged to be genuine and honest about who they are. Let's look at some examples to understand how this phrase is used in everyday conversation. 1. In encouragement, just be yourself in the interview. They'll appreciate your honesty. 2. In advice, being yourself is more important than fitting in with the crowd. 3. In self-reflection, I feel happiest when I'm truly being myself. These examples show how the phrase can be motivational, advisory, or introspective. In many English-speaking cultures, individuality and self-expression are highly valued. This phrase often comes up in contexts like personal development, social interactions, and even in professional settings. Understanding this can help non-native speakers grasp not just the language, but also the cultural nuances behind interactions. It's important to note that being yourself doesn't mean disregarding others' feelings or social norms. It's more about being true to your own values while still being respectful and considerate of others. Misinterpreting this phrase can lead to confusion in social situations. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, being yourself, and its importance in English-speaking cultures. Remember, learning a language is not just about words, but also about understanding the culture and context in which it is used. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to express your true self in English. See you in the next video.